Okay, so if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big fan of things that are well made, and especially if they're made in the United States of America. And here we go. We've got Kirk Enterprises, and they make some fantastic camera gear, and they solve some problems. And you can see here, this is a quick release that you can use to convert a Manfrotto plate over to Arca Swiss. I use Arca Swiss on everything. I have L brackets on my cameras. I use Arca Swiss on everything. I even, even have adapters for my iPhone that uses Arca Swiss. I even have some lights that go on Arca Swiss, for God's sakes. And look at the hardware that comes with this. Look at the stainless steel hardware. And look at the machining on all of these items. Just fantastic. They're not the cheapest, but these are the kinds of things you buy once and, and you're done. And there's, a, there's the uh, clamp. And I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you how you set this up on the Manfrotto uh, plate. And you can see how that tool comes right out. It just goes right in there. And so if you ever need to take it off, you've got the tool handy. So you take this off of the um, this little square, whatever you want to call the, the, the mounting cube there. I don't know what term they use for that. But that, that notice how it has the indentation on it, the square indentation. And then that has the, the male part that goes into it. So that way you can put it down at any 90 degree position and it won't twist on you. Okay, so that's anti-twist. And then it comes with the hardware necessary. You take out the, the existing hardware on this plate and then you put these, these button head screws in there. And then you have two fastening points that you fasten that block to it. And so it's going to be nice and secure. Again, no twisting, right? And you put those as far apart as you can. And then you can slide the, the block forwards and backwards on that plate, depending on the weight of your camera and where you want it centered and so forth. And so once it's all said and done, you end up with a really nice Arca Swiss receiver on top of your fluid head, right? Which I much prefer Arca Swiss to these Manfrotto plates. I mean, these Manfrotto plates are a pain in the neck. Arca Swiss is just fantastic. Okay, so you can see how this all goes together. I'm kind of showing you everything here, a little bit more detail than you may need, but and look at that nice cloisonne. Speaking of detail, look at that nice cloisonne on the side of this thing. Everything, everything about this thing is well done. Again, they're not the cheapest in town, but, but uh, they are well done. And then when you attach when you attach this again it it goes down into that indentation and then once you put that screw in there it's not going anywhere it is just rock solid which is what you want with camera gear right you don't want any wiggle you don't want any play you want everything the way it should be and that's what you're going to get with Kirk Enterprises made in these United States of America so now we're going to after we get this all snug down and set up we're going to go and I'm going to show you the fluid head in action on this setup. And then I'm going to also show you in this video a quick release so that I can switch the fluid head with the ball head on the tripod. And it's also by the folks at Kirk. And there's the uh, A7S Mark II with the 85mm G Master lens. I love that lens. And there it is on the fluid head. I like the Manfrotto fluid head. I kind of wish that Kirk or some of these other high-end manufacturers would, would make a fluid head in these United States that I could buy. Uh, the Really Right Stuff folks did make one, but I think they've stopped making it. I don't think they offer it anymore. I couldn't find it on their website at least. Now here's the Arca Swiss plate, and you can see that it installs with a 3 8 inch bolt in the middle there that is really going to hold. Uh, some, they have you put an insert in that ball head and they put a quarter 20 in, right? And that's not the way to go. This is the way to go with the full 3 8 inch fastener. And then right next to that, you see those threads? You can put a cone point screw in there, which they supply, which keeps it from twisting on you. And I put it in the threaded one right next to that so that it doesn't lift, lift up on the... Um, on the plate. You can see there's the uh, cone, cone point screws. 
And here you're going to see I'm going to install the quick, quick release system, which comes with another one of those plates. And I'm going to put that plate there on the, um, on the fluid head. So I'll have one on the fluid head and one on the ball head. And then there's the receiver that goes right onto the tripod. And you're going to see again that goes on to the 3 8 inch uh, receiver on the tripod, thread, thread on the tripod. And then the tripod, most high end tripods, have a set screw underneath that goes up and, and, and puts tension on that again for anti twist. So there won't be any twisting. And there's the plate again, same plate, and there's that cone point screw there and and the 3 8 which I use to fasten it. You can see here I'm fastening it on to the um, fluid head and I'll go ahead and show on, in, on this clip I'll show me putting in the the cone point screw which is the same thing that I did on the other one and again I put it right next to there's four threaded uh, re receivers there. I, I put it right next to the 3 8 just so it won't have a tendency to lift up the plate away from the from the head from the uh, in this case the fluid head so I put it in the in that threaded area there and just torque it down nice now don't over torque it and that is going to make sure that there's no there's just no way that that's going to twist on you when you're putting some torque on that uh, fluid head and you've got some resistance on the fluid head and you're panning along you're not you don't want that thing to twist on you and it's not going to do that the way this is set up again they thought about these details and they know what you do in the field and and uh, what you need and and you need this to be solid and you don't want it to twist so so I tighten that down hand tight as tight as I could get it hand tight and then you can see there the set screw underneath I snug that against the plate and again that's going to keep that from twisting on you. Some of the bigger tripods have, have two or three of those set screws around them. My bigger Enduro has three, I think. Uh, but this is going to be fine. It's not going to, it's not going to twist on you and it's going to do what you need to do. And you can see now how I can very quickly remove the fluid head and then I can put the ball head on. And I can put anything I have that's Arca Swiss. I can put a slider on there. I can put even a jib. On my heavier tripod, I have a receiver, an Arca Swiss, and then I put the jib on there. I'll do a video about that whole setup here, too, pretty soon. But you can see the end result, how everything works, how we've got it all set up, ready to go, and everything's Arca Swiss. It's an Arca Swiss world. And there's another extra cloisonne. They, they, uh, I, I stuck that one in there, and they gave, give you an extra, so... They think of all the details. Kirk Enterprise Solutions. Check them out and stay tuned for some more videos. Hey, subscribe. Click the little bell.